Chapter 17 The Wily Trick On a large banyan tree in the forest lived two friends, a pigeon and a crow. The crow had made a beautiful nest while the pigeon lived in a hollow in the trunk. One day, the pigeon flew over a wheat field. There was much to eat, so he decided to stay there until the harvest. A few days later, a rabbit saw the hollow in the banyan tree. He asked the crow, Whose house is it? The crow replied, It belongs to my friend, the pigeon, but he is not here. I don't know what has happened to him. I haven't seen him for a few days now. The rabbit said, That means I can stay here. The crow said, Of course you can. This is how the rabbit became the owner of the hollow. A few days later, the pigeon returned. He was very angry to see a rabbit in his hollow. He said, Vacate my house. It belongs to me. The rabbit said, It no more does. You have already vacated it, so it belongs to me now. Both of them were very angry. They quarreled for long and then decided to visit the wise cat for justice. The crow warned, Never must you go to the cat. He is your natural enemy. You must settle the dispute between you. The crow's advice fell on deaf ears. The pigeon and the rabbit went to the cat. They were afraid of going near him, so they stood far from the cat and called, Tell us, O oh wise cat, who does the house belong to now? The cat's mouth watered as he saw two nice fat preys. He wanted them both at the same time. He feigned, squinting his eyes. You see, I've become old and weak and cannot see you. The pigeon and the rabbit went closer and repeated their questions. At this, the cat said, you see, I've become weak because I've given up eating flesh. Don't be afraid. Come closer. I can neither see nor hear you properly. The pigeon and the rabbit were taken in by the wily trick. They thought that the cat was really old and weak and that he had given up eating flesh. So they went closer. When the cat saw that the two were in his easy reach, he pounced and caught both of them in his paws. Now you know how the cat had a delicious lunch. Word power Hollow, a hole or empty space. Trunk, the thick main stem of a tree. Harvest, cutting and gathering of crops. Vacate, to leave. Warn, to strongly advise in order to avoid danger. Dispute, an argument. Fall on deaf ears, to be ignored by other people. Prey, an animal hunted for food by another animal. Feign, to pretend. Squint, to look with partly shut eyes. Give up, to stop trying to do. Take in, to make somebody believe on which is not true. Pounce, to attack suddenly. Wily, cunning.